Hey everyone, welcome to Boo Tutorials. I'm your host Craig, and today we're going to talk about So when we're talking about stretching ski boots, it's all about altering and manipulating the plastic shell to better match the dimensions of your foot. Now pretty much any part of your boot can get altered, so I wanted to make a video which is a bit of a behind the scenes look at how a ski boot is stretched or punched. So as of now we can't do this at home, so we're going to have to go on a little bit of a field trip. Now to save some time, we're going to get there in the fastest way possible, so I'll see you there. Sweet. <laughs> Made it. All right, so this is where all the business happens. Now I want to run you through the most common stretches getting done. And the first one we can look at is widening the forefoot. So getting a width stretch through the front and that's usually down this lateral side. So a great tool for this is what's known as the jumbo. Now what we can do with this as well is actually add some foam padding to really customize the shape to your foot and, and then what it does once it's in there is widens out with the crank. So then we can take a look at the toe box and here we can get a little bit extra length uh, but most common is to actually just widen or reshape the toe box area. So for those toe box areas a setup like this can be really handy. Now you can see at the front here we use pre-shaped blocks. And the reason being is it just allows us to really dial in the shape that we're going for and give us that extra width and length depending on how far we crank that forward. It's also pretty common to get a stretch or punch done just to a single pressure point you have on your foot. And that's where the manual press comes into play. Now this tool is great because it has a ton of options and it really allows you to dial in the amount you want to be stretching but also the accuracy of where to stretch. So it's great for those ankles, navicular bones, bunions, tailor's bunions, any other fleshy parts of the foot you can get a really great stretch out of the manual press. And lastly we'll look at the Ultra Cam. Now this tool is really handy for anyone that has a big mismatch of foot to shell. We can get a whole heap of tension when we stretch the boots, we can do both boots at the same time and we can really add a lot of volume and this is really the lifesaver of any of those people with what I like to call Shrek foot as it's the tool that's going to allow that boot to really expand the volume and get you comfortable. Now you can't just guess where and how much to stretch the boot so it's really key to go back to that shell fitting process and mark out accurately what the points of contact are and where you're going to need extra space in the shell. Now the key to making sure that we get the ski boot to stretch and hold it stretched properly is we've got to get the plastic hot enough to remold. And to do that is we've got to heat it pretty slowly and make sure that heat absorbs all the way through the thickness of the plastic. Now the risk of going too fast is you start to melt the outer plastic or you don't allow all that heat to transfer to the inside and the stretch won't hold. So this takes time. So I'm going to run you through the process here and you're going to get to see a few different stretches in action. So one last tip I wanted to give you is that if you have had your boot stretched, you now want to keep that boot shell away from sources of heat. So that is any drying rooms, fires or heaters. And the reason being is that plastic can actually retract that stretch if it gets hot again. So you're fine to leave your liners and footbeds near some heat to dry, but just keep them boot shells at room temperature or below. So as you've seen, there's quite a few different options when it comes to altering the shape of your boot shell. And I hope this has just given you a better insight into how it's all done. Thanks for watching. Stay rad. Be a patriot. Signing out.